everyone, welcome. I am Lucas Dumi Beach. I'm going to teach and I'm going to teach you Spanish in two putos minutes. By the way, in order to take a shortcut, I will give you some rules that will help you, which will make closer the bridge between English and Spanish to learn easier and faster. First, I already mentioned the vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Second, many words pronounce the same or similar. And third, as complex is the word, it's almost guaranteed that there will be a similarity. It's almost guaranteed that there will be a similarity. There will be a similarity! Similarity! For example, all the words perfection, reaction, in Spanish, we move the accent to the last uh, blah, blah. We, we move the accent. We say acción, perfección, reacción. That is always an exception. Excepción, but not this one. Another thing that will help you to understand how to pronounce the word, sometimes you will see the little accent, the little tilt over the vowel. If you see it, it's where you gotta mark the accent. To me, many times, I kinda thought the word in Spanish, I say it in English, and I could make me understand. And the last thing that I will give you are verbs. The basic ones. La, 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 la. Shot, shot, shot in the devil. And remember, like in English, they are regular and irregular verbs. Regular and irregular. Okay, the verb to be. To be divided into two verbs in Spanish. One, ser, and estar. But be careful. If you say yo, ser, you will sound like a Native American when they were forced to speak English. You don't say I be. So we split. One is ser. It will work with pronouns and adjectives like yo soy Lucas or yo soy inteligente. I assume you know what is inteligente, right? And the other one is estar. Yo estoy en casa. I am at home. Yo estoy feliz. I am happy. Yo estoy con la perra de tu hermana. And for estoy, if you are anywhere and you get lost, you gotta tell somebody where you are, you can say Yo estoy en Evergreen Avenue y Hollywood Boulevard For you, tú, tú eres Peter The second verbo, verb, the second verbo we're gonna learn is one, querer Yo quiero, tú quieres Now, if you don't speak any, if, if you don't speak any fucking word Die! Die! Now, if you don't speak any word and you say Yo quiero this and you point in the menu in a restaurant, they will know what you want. But I'm sure you want to speak properly. I know in English we are more polite and we use like I would like and not I want. But we're gonna learn this later. The other two verbs I'm gonna teach you is need and feel. In a case of emergency, they will be very useful. Need is necesitar. Remember, you will find many verbs that end in R, A R, E R, I R. And in the first person will change with O. In necesitar, you will say yo necesito. Tú necesitas. Feel is sentir. Yo siento. Tú sientes. Or now, if you say yo siento, it's about feelings. But if, if you have a problem, you will say yo me siento. Like I'm feeling sick, happy, dizzy, tipsy. Now, if you need to poop, you say yo quiero popo. It doesn't mean you will find a toilet right away. And the very last thing for today is... The best phrase of the year! Tocate la teta. If you have any question, you can contact me here. Using the cell phone and text me via Twitter or Facebook. Now, if you like my video, please subscribe for more Espanol and please share it with your friends and to the girl next door. Hasta la chaucha.